Today we're going to be going over how to uh, manipulate text using the envelope tool, um, which we've got right here. And we're, <coughs> excuse me, also going to um, fit text to a path. So um, the first thing that I'm going to do is just type out the word Lakers, which we have right here. I did this about a hundred and thirty-five point. Just grab the font here. Um, and so what we're going to do is we're going to use the envelope tool. Now this tool does have some different options that you can do. There is this, which is the straight line, the single arc, double arc, and unconstrained. So I'll show you what each one of these does. The um, straight line is going to be able to help you um, shape text to different rectangle, trapezoid type shapes. And so what you want to do is just select your text, hit add new with what you have selected, and then you can go in and you can drag here, um, you can drag here, you can make your shape funky, whatever you want to do there. Um, and then so in order to say you don't like this or whatever, you can clear it out by going right here and it goes back to normal. So we're going to do the single arc, I'll show you what that does. Um, so this makes it to where you can curve it, you can kind of make it a bubble. Now I'm going to just control Z back to this and I'm going to show you two different things. Um, if you hold down control on the keyboard and grab either of these nodes, it's going to um, keep them in the same position and so you can, that's what I did here was what I just did there. Um, now if you hold down shift and do the same thing, you're going to get it to go up and down at the same time and you can do that on the side too and make it like a fish eye or whatever you want to do. Okay so we're going to clear that and then I'll show you what the double arc does. Add new and whenever you can see the difference between the single arc which made like a nice smooth line here and the double arc is going to um, not move the arrow on this side and move this symmetrically. Now you cannot manipulate the arrows I'm clicking you can't manipulate the arrows in this mode, but if we clear that out and we go to the unconstrained mode and add new, then we can do all kinds of stuff. We can drag the shape however we want, we can move the arrows, and so on and so forth. And you can you do this just like you would use the baser tool. So you can convert this to a line, you can you know give the nodes different attributes in this mode. So we're going to clear that out, but what I did here was just a single arc add new, I'm holding down control and just pushing up from the bottom and it gives me a, a nice little arc. Now this does stretch the letters a little bit and so sometimes you want um, your letters to fit more to a path and so I'm just going to come over here and I'm going to grab my ellipse tool and draw a circle and then if you grab your text tool here and you zoom in, I'll show you, there's a couple different things that happen when you hover over this line. So the first thing that's going to happen is you're going to get that A with a line under it and that's what you want to do to fit the text to the path. If you come in a little bit further, you see the A and B, that's going to create a text paragraph inside of your shape and that's not what we're going for right now. So we're just going to click here on the edge and you can do anywhere on the shape because you can move the text later on. So we're going to just type Lakers, get this to the same size that we have everything else. Okay, and so this little guy right here, this orange dot, is going to be your kind of control. So you can pull it out, go in, and then once you get that orange line up there, that means it's centered. And so I found that sometimes it's not a true center. This one is. You can see that it lines up perfect. So I usually drag that line down just to check and make sure. And then if you just click that line and delete, it'll go away. Okay, so now at this point you have a circle that you don't necessarily want to see the outline, but um, you can also, if you see how you have the the shape and the text selected, if you just click again on either one of them, so I'll click here, so now I have the circle selected so I can see like my outline down here and I can actually stretch this and my text is going to go right along with it. But if I have both of them selected, it's actually going to stretch everything. So one click selects both and see it kind of stretches my letters out so you don't always want to do that. Um, but then you can also click on just the text and now you can change the color um, and stuff of that. Make it red. 
Okay, so now say you don't want to see this circle, you can either delete it, which is going to make it to where you don't have any of these options up here, um, which this is just kind of some different um, effects on how the letters fit to the path. Um, or you can just make the outline have no fill, which you just right click on one of these X's up here, which is no fill. And then you're still able to manipulate oops, manipulate the shape of the circle and also um, use these attributes up here. So that's how you do that. You can also um, fit text to a uh, path that you make yourself. And then I wanted to go over how to do it um, if you wanted text to be in a circle here as well as here. And so what you want to do for that is you want to take like your outer circle of how big you want your text to be, like this would be the outer edge of your text, and then we're going to duplicate the circle. And if we hold down shift on one of the corners and we drag in, it's going to drag it in um, in the same spot. So we're going to get an even outline here. So say we wanted some text in here. Um, what we would do is go ahead and get that little A with the squiggly line under it. Type in the word farm and we can just drag and make this larger so that it fits a little bit better. Maybe make it a different font. Bring it up here to the center. Okay. Now here's where it gets a little bit more tricky is if you wanted to put text here whenever we do this it's going to go to the outside of our shape or it's going to give us the text paragraph so we're going to undo that and what we're going to do is we're going to break this outer circle apart but first what we need to do is right click on it and convert it to curves so now it's more like a shape that we drew and if we double click on it and we select these two nodes right click we're going to break these apart now we're going to get our pick tool and we're going to right click and break curve apart. So now we have an arc down here and an arc down here and it's not a solid shape. So now we can fit text to this side of this path. Alright, now a lot of times whenever you do it on a curve like this you need to give more space in between the letters so that it's not so crowded uh, and you can do that by going to your text properties over here and if that's not up you can go to text and text properties this the text ones are not under the docker I don't believe no nope. so you got to get them out of the text menu so there's text properties so you come down here under paragraph and this is going to be your character spacing option and you want to bump that up. I'm just going to go ahead and type in like 30 and see what it does. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Bump it back over here to the center, maybe give it a little bit more. And we'll go 50. All right, that looks pretty good. Okay, and then again, you can just this one we can delete. We don't need it necessarily and no outline on this. So, there you go.